Hey guys, it's your boy Fiscon here, and I'm going to teach you guys how to install plugins for Torch on a server that runs Torch without the interface, in this case something like Ping Perfect. In addition, I will show you the easiest way to edit your config files, and then I'll show you where to find them so you can edit them the hard way. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next part. So the first part is going to be preparation for the last part. And this tutorial is for somebody who already has Torch installed, so if you're trying to install Torch on your server, this is not the video for you. If you're just trying to install plugins, this is the video for you. In our case, we're going to go to download though and install Torch. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but we're going to run a local copy on our computer to edit our config file to then upload to our server so we don't have to do it the hard way. So as you saw, I just went to the torchapi.net site and I downloaded the latest version. I'm going to open that, make a folder, and drop it in the folder. In this case, Torch Video. I, my original is Torch. You're going to open this folder. You can close out the zip file. You're going to scroll down until you find the file or exe file, uh, Torch server, and you're going to run it. It's going to do its thing, and in case you're already familiar with this, it's going to download and install the dedicated server from Space Engineers through Steam CMD and any compa com compatible files. Excuse me, I'm starting to run over my own words. I'm going to go ahead and time lapse this for you so you don't have to wait. Alright guys, I do have to apologize, I paused the video because I think at one point I recorded 10 minutes of footage before my slow internet decided to catch up. It did not catch the completion. Basically my command console closed out because it was finished. And once that happens, all you're going to do is open torch.server.exe again and you'll get into your torch UI. And so once we're here, to confirm everything's okay, it's going to look like this. You'll see this error here that says there's no world found, that's fine, no worries. Just go ahead over to the plugins tab, go to browse plugins, find the plugin you're looking in for a particular, and in our case, ours is at the bottom, it's going to be called performance tweaker. Pretty common you get the ones like um, concealment and essentials, so in this case I already have those, so we're going to do the performance tweaker. Once you hit download, you need to restart the torch, torch interface, so close out, start it again, give it a second. Take a breather. <laughs> Go back to plugins, and then now your your settings are here. Now remember, this is a local copy, so whatever you do here will not affect your server. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and edit our config file the way we want it. So I'm just going to set this to 0.9. Whoops, that's nine. And then I'm just going to hit save config. Default was one, so if the edit was made, we'll know because it's 0.9. At this point, you can close out of it, and we'll come back to this later in the next part. All right, in this next part, we're going to use FileZilla to access our server through FTP. I will not do a tutorial in this video on how to do that. If you have a file manager in your control panel for your server provider, you could do it that way. But this is done under the assumption that you already have a way to get to your server's file system. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. Right here, we have our FileZilla. We're gonna connect to our server. And then from there, I will show you how to install your config file and set up your torch so it installs plugins. I really hate this lag. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm running off a radar dish right now. So the first thing we need to do with a server that already has torch installed is to tell it, hey, I need you to install this plugin. To do that, you just go to your directory and scroll down till you find the, oh man, that's tiny. Till you find the torch config file, which is usually at the very bottom in my case. So right here is our torch config file. We're gonna go view, edit, and it's gonna pop up with some settings we can modify any day now. All right, there's a lot of stuff here, but the key thing to look at is gonna be your plugins. You're gonna hit enter on the last one if you already have some, and type in the following. 
and then slash GUID. And then in between, we're gonna go go ahead and get our um, our GUID, whatever that means. I'm sorry, I'm not all not all knowing. But to find that ID, all you do is you go back to Torch's website, you click on plugins, and then you find your plugin. In this case, Performance Tweaker 1.05. And then right here, you're gonna copy this. Once you've copied it, you go ahead and you paste it in here. And then you hit save. Well, in my case, I'll be saving. Closing out, and then I'll edit and upload to the server. If you're doing it through a file browser provided by your server, you'll probably copy the file to your local computer, edit it, delete it on the server, and then upload the new one. All right, now that we've told Torch, hey, I want this plugin, we're going to install the plugin. There's two ways to do it. You can go to the website where we got the original link and you can go to download and download it there. But we've already actually downloaded the plugin. If you go over to your Torch folder that we made earlier, in this case, the one on the desktop, close out of that. And then you scroll up to your plugins folder in here and you're gonna notice, hey, I already have Torch or I already have performance tweakers. We're going to open up our Space Engineer server and then we're going to pull out our plugins and we're going to go up to our plugins on the server and drop that new zip file inside here. I'll give it one second, I have to reconnect. Alright, so now that we're here, we're just going to take the performance tweaker and drop it right in there. And once this is completed, you'll be able to restart your server and it should create a config file inside your instance folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and restart the server. All right, so at this point, our plugin is installed on the server. The server is running and it recognizes the plugin, but it has its default settings. And now the next part is how to change that. So inside our torch folder, we're gonna back out and we're gonna go to the instance folder and you'll notice we'll have our config file right here. <coughs> you can actually do this inside of your, inside of your, um, FTP provider, so we're going to do that. Torch video instances and then performance tweaker. And we're going to go to the same spot on our server. And you can see right here we have performance tweakers. And obviously it's not going to be the same and it's not going to have the settings we wanted. So we're just going to go ahead. Oh, I'm going to shut down the server, excuse me. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and delete this file. And then from there, we're gonna upload our newly configured file. Now let's say you didn't want to install a local copy and you did everything up to this point the way that I showed you minus the installing a local copy. All you're going to do here is actually go ahead and right click edit and modify your values manually versus putting them in and then it saves it to the config file for you. And once you're done with that, you just close and save, re-upload it if you need to. Um, and then restart your server. So at this point, we can actually start our server. I'm going to go in game and show you that, hey, it's loaded for plugins, it's working. All right, guys, I've logged into the test server. And as you can see, if you type in an exclamation point plugins, you can see the performance tweaker there on the bottom. So that concludes today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, I helped you out. Please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time.